Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel and in today's video we are going to be playing Hellpoint. I hope you guys have been having a great day. So we last left off where we beat our second boss so our next step forward is to keep on pressing forward. <laughs> That's not redundant but so basically we want to explore more into this area and see if we can perhaps run into more enemies more boss fights so i'm really excited to do this so let's go ahead and see what we have here actually there's like a control panel area here let's interact with this hmm, what language is this welcome to the arcology would you like to use your access passport sure What's your current place of residence? Zone district? I don't know if that's a way of it telling me that there's only certain ways of progression I could go towards. I don't know what I just did. Let's look and see. Ah, okay, so this just takes me to different parts of the map and perhaps different boss fights. But now I'm curious to see what's in here. Okay, so there are a bunch of areas to explore. I know I just opened up that area on the left. Maybe we should go left, middle, right. So I'm going to go ahead and make that our plan. Oh yeah, you could already hear him down there. There we go. Alright, alright. Oh, here, here this guy comes. Got him. Alright, doesn't seem like we can get up there. I want, Obviously, we have to go this way, but I also want to explore everything and make sure we don't miss anything. Oh, this? This is an area where things could go terribly wrong. You fall off this and, well, you're done. Be very careful here. Sprinting is not advised. Alright, gotta be careful there because every time I click it does like a triple attack. So I have to just be mindful of that. Alright, very cool area. I'm liking this. Is there anything over there? No, I don't think we can get over there. That might be a different pathway. Alright, so let's continue up. Oh, I'm seeing some gunner guys over there. Seeing a lot of guys over here. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of guys. Bunch of weaker enemies, but should keep in mind that there's also a gunner guy, I think, over there. Oh no, that's just a mace guy. Not a problem. Simple enemies, easy to beat. Oh. Material accelerator. I'm not sure what that's about. Victim's poker. Alright. Sprint attacks are very handy to give you, like, a head start on attacking an enemy. Um, there's this area over here that we can... Oh. Whoa. This guy just came out of nowhere. What does the accelerator do? I just got something on my keybind here. Not sure how to activate that. Uh, I don't think I could go this way, so we gotta keep on heading this way. Yep. He should have expected that block. Gotta be careful here. Gotta learn to use the shield. They don't do a lot of damage, and thankfully we have better armor, so we're doing pretty good. Okay, this is a dead end. Still hearing another enemy, but I don't know where it is. Might be a different floor. Okay, let's over here. Th 
Is this not the way we just came in? Oh, holy crap. Oh crap. That was close. I didn't realize that was a chump, oh my god. Alright, now we're starting to get into some gunner guys. Those are the guys that are a little bit more challenging, they keep you on your feet. You just gotta learn to dodge and, I guess, block their attacks with the shield. Yep, shield does really well. Thought the attacks would be much stronger. Oof, got me good. That was pretty good hit. Gotta give him gotta give that enemy some credit. Okay, we just got some new armor. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Those are the actual stats. The armor I already have is better. What I just received is actually worse in terms of um immunity to different things. I think that's what it's trying to tell me. But yeah, th these worlds are really open. I'm I'm really liking it. I like the style of this. If you do know, please let me know in the chat if you know how this, uh... If you hold C, you can, like, press different things, but I don't know how that works. Like, are, are those special abilities? I don't know how to activate them. But definitely make sure to take a look at my other gameplays of this, um, amazing RPG. I have plenty of other videos, and I have a playlist just for Hellpoint. If you would like to see any of those, click on a pop-out banner above. If you're really enjoying this gameplay, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Alright, I, I thought I was going to miss that heavy hit. Just got him. What if I get over there? I don't know. What, no, this is just a ledge. But I think I should be able to jump over. Okay, good. thought that would be a little more tricky. Alright, thought that wouldn't aim as far as I thought it would, but it did. Cool, cool. Okay, so this is... These are definitely some alien characters, so that looks like a way forward. What do we have down here? Alright, well we aren't going back up, obviously, so this must be more progression. Alright, let's head down. Ooh. The music kind of changed there a bit. I don't know if that was just because we're running into something important, but that was kind of cool. Huh. What is going on over here? Secrets? Oh. They're actual guarded enemies. Those look like like even more epic like enemies probably hard <laughs> Omnicube light Not sure which way I'm supposed to be going, but let's see where these steps lead to Well All right, well that was completely dark in here Nice setup with the, um, enemies. I saw, like, a guardian guy over there, but, I mean, I could tempt them. But I guess this is maybe a safer area of progression until we get over there. There's a lot to explore. I don't think there's anything on that side. That looks walled off. Uh, we could head back the way we came. Or we could head in here. Oh, that's not good. That's never a good sign. Ugh, I was trying to block, but I've completely forgot I was out of stamina, and these guys almost wrecked me there. I'm still good health-wise, though. Whoa, what was that? I just came into this corner and there was like this green alien flying fish thing. That's really cool. 
Alright, let's take care of these guys. Man, I'm liking the enemy variety that I'm running into. It's pretty cool, in my opinion. Okay, that door is locked. Alright, uh... That's just a trash can or something, so I guess we'll head this way. Okay, I think this loops around, I'm not sure. Oh, yes it does. Because I'm pretty sure those are the same steps that we came up. Yep, and this is where we killed these guys. Cool. I'm liking the level design, and I'm really impressed with how... You don't even realize you just looped around, like, at least I didn't. Okay, so that was very cool. So let's go ahead and head in a direction that we have not gone already. And Damon Scythe, or Sith, however you pronounce that. Interesting. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Holy crap. Didn't realize these are breakable blocks. The Sith seems like something I want to use against clumped up enemies so I can take them out easily. It's not something I would probably use in a boss fight. It would just be way too slow, and I know from my experience of boss fights, I'm terrible at timing these. I'm absolutely... Terrible at timing them. I'm just terrible at timing them attack. Okay, so I think this was our way of progression. I believe this is the other direction. Man, this is really cool. Loving the art style. Alright, I think we can interact with this. Oh, oh, alright. Oh, awesome. Okay, so we just looped around and it got us to come back here. Alright, that's cool. Oh, I think those enemies respawned. There's some that respawned over there, so I'm curious to try out this scythe. Oh, it is terrible. I thought it would be good just because it looked like a large weapon thing is not as good as I expected it to be. Alright, so we'll stick with the sword that we found. I have to find a way back up the way I just came. So I'm gonna go do that, and once we hit new progress areas, I will meet back with you guys. Alright guys, I am back, and I think I found another area of exploration. It seems like we can... Well, it seems like we could head this way, but I'm kind of concerned, because if we mess up this jump, we die. So, I'm going to head the other way, because I know there are other routes we could take, and leave that one behind. looks like an interesting route to explore, but it also looks equally dangerous. And that's something, while I would love to take a risk, I think we should just head back the way we came and take a look into these other routes. Um, we do have a lot of Axians. I think we might have enough to get two upgrades. Lost Hatchet. I'm getting a lot of interesting weapons. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at our breach here and see what we can upgrade in terms of stats. So we can consume whatever Axions we found. We actually got a lot. And as, as usual, the most things I'm concerned about are strength, stamina, and health. Reflex is important. Load is important, but I'm not sure what load does. I think it allows us to carry more stuff. Oh, and also increases our physical stats, but not by that much. So I'd rather go down the route of 
health and stamina. So let's go ahead and do those. All right, cool. So let's go down. I think the middle is the actual. Oh, okay, we can't even go down the right side. I guess that was an optional area. So we could either go to the left or the right. I'm gonna imagine maybe they all meet up at some point. However, we're not concerned about that. We're gonna go this way. Is there anything down here? We can interact with this. Insert mind cube. We do not have one of those, and I bet that's something we can get from a boss fight or perhaps some looting. Let's see. Breach synchronizer. Cool. The five eyes of the ar archaeology carving into mines with each cycle. Elevator offline. Huh. Can we break through this? We cannot. So, basing it off that, I think the only other way that we have for progression is to actually go back to that area that we just went to and explore that other region where we have that one chance to jump and not die. So I will meet up with you guys once I get there. Alrighty guys, and we just got across. I was doing this the wrong way. <laughs> I was absolutely just... It wouldn't let me jump across for some reason, and I was just... Um... Yeah. Alright, let's use a synchronizer. I don't think we can fuse ourselves, so we're gonna go ahead and continue forward. All right, we made it back to where we were last. Let's jump across. And I think we went this way. I think we finished all of that area. Let's go this way. Oh, cool. Is this like a important point? I think this is progression forward. That's awesome. Thank God we got our Axians back, so let's... Let's not polarize. It's not what we want to do. We want to consume all our Axians. And we want to upgrade our stats. Let's go ahead and get more stamina going. Alright, so we have some areas of progression. I am tempted to unlock these, but... I don't know if I should go too far ahead. Okay, so this is the only area we can go forward to. However, there is the area on the other side I don't believe we finished exploring. So I want to go ahead and definitely do that area. Oh, okay, so this wasn't... This was an area that we already actually completed, so this door just loops around and leads to the other side of that building, or that area we were just in. Cool, cool. I like these types of games and the way they, like, design their levels because it makes me feel like I've actually completed everything and I'm not missing out on stuff and I've, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and that's progressing forward. Alright, let's see where this next area that takes us to. Travel to Stone District. Cool, cool. I think this takes us deeper into the city. Maybe we fight 
our next boss in this district. It seems like there's a pattern. There's a boss in each district. So let's see what we run into in the zone district. All right, we've arrived in Sone. Oh, there's another one of those guys over there. There's a lot of stuff going on down there. Definitely have our work cut out for ourselves. Whoa, okay. Got another breach here. Let's take care of this. Uh, let's see. There's no refugee here. Turn back. This place is lost. Huh. Seems like we're heading to, like, a interesting area. Like, a controversial area. Oh, wow. This is just, like, devastation. This is just... Wow. It's a lot of devastation. Oh. I saw a pretty scary looking enemy over there. Definitely one of the harder enemies. Don't know if I want to go there yet. There are a lot of places I could go. Probably not left though. I think I'm going to head this way. Alright, so we're slowly starting to run into harder enemies. These guys look like they take three versus four hits. Whoa, okay. These guys are definitely harder. Alright, I need to heal. These guys are hard. Wow, I'm actually really surprised at how hard they are. Definitely something different to expect from these guys. Alright, these should all connect, which means I may run into that one guy over there. I think they should all connect. That's that's the thinking. Ministry credentials required. Access denied. Alright, I gotta keep an eye out for those firework guys, because those seem to be the harder guys. Alright, cool. Come towards me, man. I'm gonna fight one of these guys and see what they're all about. Gotta be careful. And... Dodge. Wasn't quite executed well. Okay, wow, these guys are difficult. Um, look, can I get back to the breach and heal? Yes, I can. Let's get back to the breach. Okay, I don't think we... Yeah, we can't get any upgrades, but we did get our health back. I do like the fact that going back to a breach gains you back to, um, relatively full health. Basically full health. You know, it's none of the nonsense, and I'm also glad that it doesn't give you, like, full heals, because then that would make things possibly a little bit too easy and not as challenging. Oh. Alright, cool. A little another side area over there. I want to continue this way, but I'm going to have to be very careful. What I need to do is actually equip a railgun. Let's figure out how this works. Alright, the railgun's not too bad. 
I guess it's meant to do some init initial damage, but it's actually not that bad. Awesome. Alright, took care of him. We need to charge up our heals. Alright, hopefully there are no more of those guys. Alright, let's move forward. That looks like progress up there. I don't know if we want to head there just yet. Oh, these guys just spawned out of nowhere. I'm gonna call this guy Fireworks Guy. Because it looks like he has fireworks in him. Pretty much. It's Fireworks Guy. Oh, where does this... Where does this take me? Oh, another Fireworks Guy. I'm not sure where this takes me, but let's look into it. More exploration. Oh, you're just calling my name, aren't you? Alright, I think I'm gonna go this way first. Just more interested in getting rid of the fireworks guy. Man, those <laughs> those fireworks guys can get out of control with their explosions. Oh, I can attack up to six times now. Six quick attacks, which is great. It takes three per enemy, so it's just the perfect amount. Wow, uh, there's just so much to explore. Fireworks guy caught me off guard. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. What is that? A train car? I was wondering why it was so bright. Oh, cool. Oh, don't tell me that's gonna start dropping enemies. I'm waiting for something to happen. That would be super clever if the game did that. I don't think that's going to happen. However, I am going to continue this way. What is this over here? It's like an offering pot. Oh, exploder guy. Can't let those loose. These fish guys are kind of hard too, because once they get attacking, they hit you a lot. If you can knock them back with a sprint attack, I think you should be good to go. Oh, something is following me, I knew it. Oh boy. Missed. Oh, there's an area back here. There's like a little tiny area down here under the steps. Sweet. Okay, now that this area is taken care of, actually I want to move forward and see what there is. If not, we can head back and explore the other unexplored areas. Ah! I see, game. I see. Well, there you have it, guys. That's definitely a boss fight.
which means we don't want to go there because we have no interesting on there, not at the moment at least. Uh, why was I not able to pick that up? We want to upgrade our stats and do whatever we can before we try to attempt any sort of boss fight. Oh, didn't see you there. I need to figure out a way to get out of this place and head the other directions that are available to me. Uh, where does getting the up take me? Alright, it doesn't really take me anywhere. Because I'm sure there are other areas in here. I know that couldn't have been the only pathway. There's so many different pathways around here. What was that? Ah, uh, that enemy got me good. I think I should be able to run into more enemies because there is other pathways I could take. Yeah, this down here is unexplored. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good. Alright, not bad. Alright, it's a little dungeon room. Thought they could lock me in there. Okay, so that was a little interesting area. We got some Axians out of it. Okay, let's keep on heading this way. This is another area I don't think I've explored. Don't recall coming down here. Yep. Is that... Is that it down here? Uh, yep. I believe so. Alright, so let's head back to our breach. Stat up. And... Let's see what our next goal is. So I want to head back to the breach. I think that was this way. I hope those totem guys aren't back. I'm just, that's what I'm going to refer to them. From now on, they're going to be referred to as totem guys. That's going to drop more enemies, but right now I need to find my breach. The traveling in this game is really nice, but sometimes the tunnels can confuse you, so I absolutely do not remember which way I came in and where my breach is. I don't think it was up, I think it was down. Oh, hold up, I've never been here before. This just took me to a completely new area. Occult conjuring table. Alright, I don't want to process materials. What can I print? Yeah, let's dismantle stuff we aren't going to use. We have better armor. Get rid of all that. There's a lot of stuff we have. Got a lot of particles. Don't think we could print anything out, though. Is this a dead end down here? Oh, it is not. I think it just leads further down. Okay, yeah, this just takes us back to where we came up to. I'm gonna be spending the next... I don't even know how many minutes, but until I find this breach, I'll be satisfied. Uh, 
Oh, Breach, where are you? Oh, what is this? Is this the other side of the boss arena or something? Because I know the orange fog means it's a boss arena. Oh, I am making progress that I guess I, sh I can be, but I shouldn't be. This was not the intent. I don't know if this really is progress, but this is another little side area. Okay, I really need to find my way back. Oh crap, this is another entrance to the boss arena. Seems like the game's foreshadowing to me that I should maybe fight the boss, but I'm gonna leave that for another episode. Found another area. Let's go take care of this. Alrighty, guys, that's going to leave it for this episode. It seems like we have our next boss to fight, and I'm going to leave that for another episode, but. Until then, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until the next episode, I will catch you guys later. Peace out, take care, and have a great day.